happen often, but Antonio picking up two wins for you guys in Super Regionals. What does it say about what he's able to do? Uh, that, that's huge. That's huge from him coming out of the bullpen like that and stepping up. It's the best we've seen him throwing all year, and I hope he carries that into Omaha with us. This is your first trip to Omaha. Just what are you expecting? I'm just, I don't know. It's still surreal to me right now, but I'm expecting what everyone says it is and how great it is. I'm just, I'm just ready to get there and get to work with my guys. Kind of going along with that, have you allowed yourself to, to think about just how special this really is, be, being one of the final teams alive still? Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's great from, from the last four in to, um, to um, getting there. It's nobody really thought, I don't think, but, but we're here and that's all that matters. How much are you looking forward to pitching on the biggest stage of college baseball? Oh, it's it's going to be surreal, but but it's just another baseball game, and I'm going to handle it that way. Just go about my business with my team. Do you, do you know if you're going to pitch Saturday, or will you go game two? I don't know. They haven't, they haven't told me anything yet. How did you handle Baton Rouge that well? Because that is a pretty ridiculous crowd. Yeah, it was, but it's just like that. But like I said, it's just another baseball game. I mean, I know what I can do. I know what my team can do behind me, supporting me. So we just trusted that and went in there, and nothing phased us, and nothing will continue to phase us. You personally, do you like kind of that stage and that kind of environment? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the opposing crowd—it just gets you more, you know, like jacked up. Get, get your get your juices flowing. Get you get you working harder for sure. As a pitcher, what was it like watching Antonio and the Fontenot kid kind of go back and forth? I mean, as a pitcher, you used to kind of respect that and oh, enjoy watching it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I've been there before, and I, I know what that feeling, and I know what he was going through. And it's just, I, I knew it. I knew he was going to get it done, and I know he did. You guys played some really quality teams over the last couple of weeks. You know, you play another one on Saturday. Just how much has that prepared you for being able to play on the ball? It's definitely these these teams that we ran through are definitely pretty good, and we know we're going to see some better, if not, or good, if not better competition in Omaha. So we're going to be ready for that as well. Two more for CJ. You seem like you enjoy the people challenge you and or doubt you, and this whole team seems like you guys rally around that. Is that something that you guys found during the course of the season? Absolutely, absolutely. Like the we we understand like the, the there's negative thoughts about us, but we kind of just didn't let it phase us and just knew who we were and knew we were a family and knew we could do this. We believed all along. What's been the key for you for the last month or two when things have gone really really well for you? I guess has there been something that's worked really well for you mentally, physically, anything? I mean, it's just the whole mojo. It's just what we're doing for right now for our team, for our family, and for eleven. Perfect. Thanks, Jim. Thanks.